So we got a brand new aftermarket part called the Jack Revenger kit and it's for the BP-50. So in this particular case, it actually modifies the gun in a couple different ways. We get different damage profile, but we do get a faster fire rate. Uh, and the big thing here is that you can see behind my web camera, I'll go ahead and move that out, is that right here, the ADS speed is pretty fast as well as the sprint to fire speed, not so fast. So that's kind of the main things there, but all the mobility, is pretty good so it actually does a good job of converting it to an smg so i think a lot of people are referring to this kind of like the ripper that we had back in ghost and again in iw even though it's kind of like loosely in terms of fire rate and stuff like that kind of looks like it but it doesn't have that conversion effect where you can change it on the fly uh well we were able to test the damage we ended up testing this in plunder with chat i was live streaming when we did the testing you can see that you can get a chest ttk of 610 uh right here that's the kind of the number and it has a damage drop off around 12 and a half meters but you can extend this out to about 14 meters and the next damage drop off is about 23 and that's kind of where you're probably going to take most of your engagements it goes from having an okay ttk up close uh at 610 if you get too many stomach and limb shots in terms of like the legs it'll drop off the number ends up being five so if you get all chest shots but five happen to be into the stomach or the limbs within the legs you will end up with a slower ttk of 670 so it can feel inconsistent even though that's about half the shots because the stomach is pretty close to the chest especially if they jump it can get a little inconsistent the thing that helps this gun quite a bit though is this fire rate of 984 which is going to help it quite a bit. And then as soon as it hits a drop off, it, right outside of that 14 meters, it gets pretty bad and it feels pretty bad at that range. But most of you watching probably don't even care about all that numbers. They just want to know if it is meta. It is still not going to probably be the meta and overtake the HRM unless that gets nerfed. Hopefully other guns get buffed. Uh, but this is definitely a viable option. If you've been enjoying the conversion kit on the MCW, if you like the Striker 9, the WSP9, you got another weapon kind of in the mix that if the HRM did receive a nerf, this could definitely fit in. It also also does use rifle ammo so it's something you got to be aware of we can improve the sprint to fire time with the ccg tack tape uh the ammunition will give us a little bit further range if we go ahead and put on this high grain rounds it will worsen the recoil but since your range isn't all that bad and the fire rate's good it could be more forgiving and then the muzzle we're going to go ahead and put on the casses i did try the zemin uh it felt okay but the casses did a little bit better at removing some of the visual shake on the gun uh which we can see here it does still have a little bit of wobble, but not really enough to probably impact your aim. So that leaves you with one attachment slot, which you either go with the laser or an optic. If you don't mind the iron sights, then you're going to probably go with the laser. Uh, if you don't mind a visible laser, then you got all kinds of options because uh, most are going to be visible. Uh, and the ADS one's not going to help a ton. Uh, it's it's helping like nine milliseconds, which is almost nothing. So sprint to fire could be pretty useful. It's just that your laser will be visible. So you can go chimera, go all in, have a visible laser, uh, and then you'll have the iron sights. If you don't like the iron sights, then you just put it on an optic. Overall, I don't think this is gonna take over the meta, but I think the ability to move quick uh, and all those types of things, making you a harder target to hit. Maybe that uh, I don't think there's really any tax stance builds. You're kind of limited on your attachment options. So most people will have probably three out of the four attachments will essentially be the same. The difference will probably be the laser to an optic and then which laser you specifically like to use uh, when you're using the gun. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. It'd be nice if we had the regular 60 round mag on the BP, but unfortunately that is not the case. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.